Situated on 52 hectares of beautiful bushland, Kalendal is a great destination to escape. It's about a four hour drive from Sydney and with no phone reception, you're able to spend quality time with family and friends. Once you check in at the front reception, you'll notice that there's a little kiosk and they sell all essentials. You'll also find a public phone booth there. So here we are, we've arrived at Kulendul. It is a beautiful spot. Now, excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Kulendul, Kulendul. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm saying it the right way, but anyway, um, it's a gorgeous spot. If you have a look around, there's allocated fire pits everywhere. It's a bit of a rocky road coming in um, if you don't have a four wheel drive. Um, but there's it's all off-road and but there are some signs so they do um, mark it quite well on trees as you're sort of coming in but yeah so there's no allocated campsites per se it's pretty much just pick your own spot anywhere so we've just picked a spot which will have most amount of sun during the day for um, solar so it's all off-grid um, there are glamping options where they have tents um, set up and it's quite um, fancy and lovely. So I'm sure um, that's to suit, you know, a, a, an, another demographic that likes that sort of thing. But, um, oh, it's just look, if you have a look around, so peaceful. There's goannas, um, there's kangaroos. You can go wombat looking with a torch. So we might do that a bit later on. So we're just gonna check it out, have a bit of a walk and, and um, check out what the place is like. It's all surrounded by a river as well, the Shoalhaven River. So um, you can go swimming in there, there's canoeing, um, there's all that sort of thing. So it's great for mountain biking along here as well. There's some great bush walks. Um, so yeah, it's perfect for for exploring and having an adventurous weekend away or a good time time away doing things that you love outdoors. I'm trying so as you can see in the distance it looks like um, along the perimeter of this property were affected by the bushfires in 2019 um, yeah they've got bins scattered throughout no, for bottles and cans point. only and then you've got the silver ones for general waste um, which is great you've got bins provided there's showers and toilet amenities here um, yeah which makes it easy so as I said the camp campsite it's all surrounded by um, the Shoalhaven River so as you can see, you can hear the river flowing in the background. It's quite pretty. And um, yeah, you can go canoeing in there, you can swim. It's quite pretty because you've got all these beautiful pine trees and it sort of gives you that feeling of, you know, those lovely rivers in um, around the mountains in, you know, um, Switzerland and all that sort of stuff. It's just so pretty. Very peaceful.
down low. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's all right. Just uh, keep trying. The good thing is it's still Just going to practice. That did too. Lincoln. Say hello, Lincoln. wasn't long till it was fire time so it was time to get our marshmallows out and roast them and sit by the fire and just relax after a long drive into Galindal. We later on went wombat spotting and we spotted this little fellow um, who was wandering around the campsite. So we've just woken up it is and Six in the morning, and I found, and also I found a peacock, and also another peacock, another peacock, there. and another peacock, wow. and another peacock. So one, good. Two, it's amazing. Look at their gorgeous feathers. Yeah. Good spotting, Sienna. So this is such a magical place. We saw some wombats last night. And now we've woken up and discovered some peacocks outside our caravan. <laughs> Very cute. Hey, mate, where are you going? Where are you going? Hello, buddy. Uh-oh. All right, so we're just going to have a little wander around the um, campsite. So we've just been to Fitzroy Falls, which was lovely. And we also visited Kangaroo Valley, which was its such a beautiful little historic dainty town. It's very cute. Um, so here's the map. We're just going to sort of go around. There's um, a bike track, which is pretty much where you drive your car along to do the loop. Um, but we're gonna do we're gonna go check out there's a lookout as well so we're gonna check all of that out and show you what it's all about um, there's some little ca other different camping spots on there and they've also got the glamping tents which we're gonna have a look at as well This is one of the amenities block, which is um, a little bit older than the one that's situated over that way. So I'm going to have a look over there. This is the burrows camping area, and that's where you've got all the amenities present. So you've got the camp kitchen over there, and then you've got the main um, toilet block over there. So you've got a little laundry area. There's no actual washing machines, but you've got laundry tubs um, where you can do your washing up. And also with the laundry in the amenities block is also you've got your showers and your toilets, which are kept quite nice, clean. Um, so yeah, pretty standard. So we're just um, near the burrows, which is that way and right opposite it we've got a dump point which is great so you've got you can dump your stuff there and um we're just 
heading out to the Bugong Lookout, which is past the flashy glam glamping um, tents, which are just over that way. They have a spectacular view as well. It's pretty amazing because it's surrounded by this beautiful, these cliff faces all along. Um, yeah, and there's a river that surrounds the entire campground, which is quite spectacular. But anyway, here are all the glamping tents. Um, and um, we'll go check them out. So here we are at the glamping area. It's pretty flash, so you get some um, tents that are set up that way. And you've got some fire pits here with some nice sun lounges um, with, you know, cooking grates above them so you can cook out here. Um, have an outdoor sort of, you know, open cooking experience over a fire or you have this pretty cute camp kitchen which looks pretty flash to me. It's decorated nicely um, and yeah, so you can use this camp kitchen as well. You've got all the facilities here. So you've got your sink, you've got your kettle and a barbecue. And here's some other glamping tents. And on the other side, you also have another camp kitchen um, with everything you possibly need for cooking. It's all supplied. Pretty flash to me. So if you're up for that kind of experience, I'm sure you would be, you would not be disappointed with this. So if you veer left at the end of the flash cam, you'll come across a little bushwalking track and that will take you through to the Bugong Lookout. So it's just in the distance over there. So here at Bugong Lookout, it's a um, pretty spectacular view down to the river that we were at yesterday afternoon. So super peaceful. Okay, so it's fire time. Yena, what are you preparing here? Marshmallows. Oh la la. And how do you do those? How do you stack them on? You just pierce them through a big stick? Yeah. And also I put sometimes two and sometimes three and sometimes one. Mm. Okay. So and depending on how you how many you want. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes four. And sometimes four. So we've got to get a stick long enough that you're away from the fire when you're Hovering the marshmallows over the fire. Like this one. Yeah, that one's a good size. Yeah. All right, so we'll wait till the flames get higher and then we'll we'll hover it over the fire and we'll have some toasted marshmallows, just like we did last night. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging around in the, um, in the van over there. Yeah, so Lincoln is pretty much just having his own little party in the van. So um, anyway, we found a mouse in his little um, play basket. So we've left it outside while we went for our little day trip today. Um, so there you are. <laughs> so yeah, I'd probably recommend if you're gonna have little baskets and like that, like this lying around, I'd imagine there'd be loads of field mice around here. I mean, it's no big deal for Pete, but it is a big deal for me. I'm not a big fan of mice. Um, so, so yeah, but Lincoln, you didn't seem to mind as well, did you, Bubby? <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't. No, no, it was quite fun. I'm sure he wanted to play with the mouse. So, this has been Coolendal, Coolendal, would you call it Coolendal? It's been a great little trip. Um, we're not done yet. We've got an extra full day tomorrow. So, we're hoping to um, go and have a look at a couple of lookouts that are around the area. So, um, 
so yeah we'll, we'll check those out but yeah it's a really pleasant campground i would highly recommend it to anyone who loves bush camping um and yeah you're not you don't have campsites and allocated spots really close to you it's just you're out in the open and it's just beautiful very peaceful lots of wildlife you see huge goannas roaming around peacocks peacocks wombats. that's right we saw lots of peacocks and wombats and um it's just and beautiful it's, and so i found the first peacock oh, she did yeah first thing this morning they're just roaming around happily um lots of just beautiful gum trees everywhere and it's yeah honestly it's a beautiful spot this place has been running for about 30 years the lady at the main office was telling me it's just recently been sold um, there's not much information online about about it because i think they've wanted to keep it um, a bit of a secret or i don't know keep it local keep it family orientated um, so yeah i'm sure there'll be a lot more you know coverage on on social media um, a lot more uh, activity on promoting the area now that these new owners have what's wrong oh did it yeah we've got to be careful we've got to be careful with that catching on fire you can't put it too close to the flames they look a bit burnt oopsie mm. <laughs> i'm sure the inside will be nice and sweet all right beautiful how long were they roasting on top of the over the fire not for long. Not for long. Look at that. Wow. That's what camping's all about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have a look in the distance, you can see a few wallabies hopping about at dusk time. And the night sky here is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we're having a little walk over to a place called Sandy Beach, which is um, great little area for kids to play with their buckets and spades. So to get to Sandy Beach from the main camp area, you just sort of veer off to Willow Flats camping area and um, you just walk straight up, follow this uh, trail and um, you'll be able to get there about a couple of hundred metres up. And here we are. No, it's no beach. It's just a bit of a sand pit for you to play with your buckets and spades. Show us your buckets and spades, you know. Oh, all set to go. This is the end of the track where you can walk down to the sandy part of the river. down the track it looks as though you keep walking down and it's part of the river so there might be some sandy areas there but we couldn't get the pram down there so um, yeah so anyway couldn't show you sandy beach down uh, it's not a real beach but it's you know alongside the river I assume um, where kids can play with their buckets and spades but anyway it's also called sandy beach um, the campground as well so this is another section where you can camp at so heading up to this lookout which um, is just before you get to Callandor campground anyway it's part of the Morton State Forest but it's a pretty rough sort of ride up Um, it's not too far, we've been told, from the main track. Yeah, about two k's from the road into Cullendor. Once you get to the top, the views are just so expansive and gorgeous. You will absolutely love this lookout was our stay at Kalendor. It was a beautiful place to camp. It's got some good ratings on Wikicamps and the amenities are fabulous. 
It's everything that you need um, for camping. You've got lots of wildlife and the river is lots of fun if you've got kayaks and lilos or canoes. So 10 out of 10 from us.